Terry, and in this video, I'm going to show you the easy way to change the battery in your Microsoft Zoom Model 1402. All right, well, I'm sure you've seen the other videos showing the more complicated way to change this battery. I purchased my battery from Gadget Menders off of eBay. Okay, and they also have a website, uh, www.gadgetmenders.com, and I'm sure you can purchase it through there directly too. But I found it easy, of course. Get it on eBay, all right? Anyway, you'll see there's other videos that are extremely complicated. Well, I'm going to show you the extremely easy way that you can change this battery out in about 10 minutes. So stay tuned. See what you think. Let's review what's uh, necessary for changing out the battery in your Zoom. First off, of course, you need common hand tools, your wire cutters, long nose pliers possibly, X-Acto knife, screwdrivers, little pry tool, etc. You're going to need a decent soldering station. I would recommend a temperature controlled station for this. You're going to need a heat source, like a heat gun. Uh, I have a little Heiko 852 rework station that I use. Um, and you can even use a, a lighter, to tell you the truth, because we're going to be dealing with a little bit of heat shrink tubing. Okay? And of course, you need your Zoom, and you need your battery from uh, GadgetMenders.com. So uh, let's go through the process, and I think you'll find that it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. All right, so first step, obviously, is to remove the back cover off the Zoom. You're going to find that they use some strange little three-way type of uh, screws in here. They're not Phillips, okay? If you don't have that screwdriver, you can use a standard, very small, flat blade screwdriver. Just put it in there, okay? It'll be a little offset, but you can unscrew these screws fairly easy using this. So don't sweat it if you don't have the right screwdriver, but take your time so that you don't damage the heads in the process. All right, so here's the battery, okay? It's sitting in here, and it actually has some double stick type of adhesive that's behind this. So you can use these little nifty removal tools, put it under the battery, carefully pry up on it and you'll be able to lift that battery out okay when you do that you're gonna see there's some leads attached so do not yank on this or you're gonna damage the circuit board I'm gonna show you a real easy way now at this point to change your battery with the replacement so the battery is loose you can see the adhesive here that remained on the zoom the wires are twisted so simply untwist these wires then I want you to take your wire cutters. We'll start with the red wire. Kind of pull him aside. And you're going to cut one wire at a time until this battery is removed. All right, so we have all three wires cut. So you got these pigtails remaining off of the main circuit board. Okay. So this thing's obviously junk. You look at your new battery. You see it's got the same color code wires. The red is protected so that you don't short. So we're gonna start with the black and the white and we'll end up with the red when we're done. So you take your nice sharp X-Acto knife and I want you to strip off approximately an eighth of an inch of insulation off these wires. So just score it with your X-Acto knife and then you're gonna pull the insulation off. It's easier here for me to do when I'm not trying to operate a video camera. But conventional wire strippers will not work on this. So be careful. Use an X-Acto knife. Don't slice yourself up, all right? All right, so the next step is we're going to tin these wires. So they'll be easy to solder. So how about a little bit of liquid encouragement? Okay, we'll have a little bit of wine. There we are. Okay. And we'll start the tinning process. My iron is set approximately 650 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna tin these wires up real quick. This will make them a little easier in the soldering process. Next, let's cut off three pieces 
approximately 3 8 to half inch long with some 16th inch heat shrink tubing. So let's start with a black wire. Slide your heat shrink on. Okay. Remember to put the heat shrink on first before you solder it, or guess what? You're going to be taking it back apart. All right, for these connections now, there's absolutely no stress on these wires, okay? So I'm just going to put the two wires together, and we're going to put a dab of solder to connect them. Voila, okay? We're going to do the same with the other three. All right, here we go with the white. <clears throat> And as you can see, I've got the heat shrink in position. Wires are next to each other. Put your little dab of solder on there. Boom! Another one done. All right, so as you can see, all three are soldered. And we've got three pieces of heat shrink. So let's start with the red. Slide that heat shrink over the solder connection. Okay, center up the connection. And then in this case, I've got this really nifty uh, heat gun. Okay, you may not have this, so we'll do all three methods, all right? So with my little heat gun, I can shrink that baby down. Man, isn't that great, okay? But I'm sure that you don't have a $1,000 heat gun. So the next two, let's do with a lighter. All right, so these next two, the white and the black, We'll do these two at the same time. So slide your heat shrink over the middle of the connection. Take your lighter, heat it up. There you go, shrunk. So there you have it, the hard part's done. New battery spliced in, all right? You take your battery, and I want you to put him all the way over here to the left, okay? And seat him back down. The reason I did that is so I can leave this channel here because we're going to route the wires and we're going to lay them in that channel so that they're out of the way. Alright, so the wires are carefully laced in here. I took the black one, laid him down here horizontally underneath the little circuit board that's in the battery. The red and white are sitting in that channel. Now the back cover go on like a breeze. So here we are, back cover. Back in place. Reinsert your screws. Okay. Don't over tighten them. They're not going anywhere. In a second here, we'll fire back up and see if it works. All right, here we go. Fire up the old Zunarino. There's the emblem. So she's coming to life. It takes a few seconds there. I'm sure you know that. There's the old warp drive core. Showing full power, Captain. And there's the commander of the ship. Picard's looking pretty good these days. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, well, there you have it. The way to fix your zoom in a zip. Classy, huh? Thanks for watching.